in the last couple of lectures we learned what a scope and scope chain is and what are the different types of scopes we have in javascript we also learned how a scope chain gets created in the execution context with the help of lexical environment now in this lecture let's understand scope chain in practice by writing some code in this way it will become more clear how a scope chain works in javascript program let's start by creating a function let's call it details and inside this function let's create a variable let's call it a and let's assign it with the value maybe 10 then let's log this variable a in the developer console and let's also call this details function now in the last lecture we learned that every function in javascript creates a new scope that means this details function will also create a new scope and whatever variables and functions we declare inside this details function that will be stored in the scope of this details function right so when we call this details function javascript engine will start executing the logic which we write inside this details function and at this line javascript engine will find that we are trying to use the you know use this variable a so javascript engine will search for this variable a and it will find this variable a in the current scope because in the current scope that means in the scope of this details function we are declaring this variable a so javascript engine will find this variable a in the current scope it will use its value and it will log it in the developer console so if i save the changes 10 will be 10 will be logged in the developer console now let's comment this line of code where we are declaring this variable a and let's declare this variable a in the global scope and let's assign it with the value 20. now when this details function is called javascript engine will again start executing this details function and here at this line again it will find that we are trying to use this variable a so javascript engine will search for this variable a first in the current scope and in the current scope we are not declaring this variable a that means javascript engine will not find this variable a in the current scope so what it will do it will move one step up and it will search for this variable a in the parent scope now in this example for this details function the parent scope will be the global scope so javascript engine will search for this variable a in the global scope and in the global scope we are declaring this variable a so javascript engine will use the value of this variable a so now if i save the changes you will see that 20 is logged okay so javascript engine always search for a variable or a function first in the current scope if it does not find it in the current scope then it will search for that variable in the parent scope if it does not find it in the parent scope also it will search for it in the grandparent scope and so on till it reaches the global scope okay if it does not find it in the global scope also then it will throw an error so in this example when javascript engine didn't find this variable a in the current scope it looked for this variable a in the parent scope and the parent scope in this case is global scope and in the global scope this variable a is present javascript engine used that value for that variable a okay now what if we have same variable declared in the current scope as well as in the parent scope which value will be used in that case let's understand that so again when this details function will be called javascript engine will start executing this details function at this line we are trying to use this variable a so javascript engine will search for this variable a and first it will search for this variable a in the current scope and in the current scope we have this variable a so javascript engine will not search for this variable a any further it will use the value of this variable a okay and it will log it in the developer console so if i save the changes you will see that 10 is logged and not 20 because when javascript engine started searching for the value of this variable a it found it in the current scope itself so it used that value it didn't moved one step up in order to search for it okay now let's create another function inside this details function and let's call this function maybe print and inside this function let's try to log the value of variable a 
and let's also call this print function so when this print function will be called javascript engine will start executing the logic of this print function and inside this print function we are trying to use this variable a so again javascript engine will have to search for this variable a so first it will search in the current scope that means the scope created by this print function now since we are not declaring this variable a inside this print function this variable a will not be present in the scope of this print function so javascript engine will move one step up and it will search for this variable a in the parent scope and for this print function the parent scope will be this details function the scope created by this details function so javascript engine will search for this variable a in the parent scope in the parent scope the variable a is declared it will use its value so now if we save the changes you can see 10 is logged at line number 9 that means at this line okay but if it will not find this variable a in the parent scope also then it will move further up and it will search for it in the global scope for example if i comment this declaration of this variable here and if i save the changes you will see that 20 is logged why that's because when this print function is called and javascript engine started executing it it didn't find this variable a in the current scope so javascript engine searched for this variable a in the parent scope in the parent scope also we don't have a declaration of this variable a so javascript engine moved one step up and it searched for this variable a in the global scope and in the global scope we have this variable a so javascript engine used the value of this variable a and it logged here okay now if we don't have a variable in the global scope also then javascript engine will throw an error that a is not defined okay so it searched for this variable in the current scope it didn't find it it looked for it in the parent scope here also it didn't find the declaration of this variable a then it moved one step up and searched for it in the global scope in the global scope also we don't have a declaration of this variable a so finally javascript engine threw this error that a is not defined so this is how a scope chain works and a scope chain always works in upward direction it does not work in downward direction for example let's say inside this print function we declare this variable a okay let's set it to 100 maybe now when this details function will be called at this line we are trying to use this variable a so first javascript engine will search for this variable a in the current scope in the current scope we are not declaring this variable a so it will search for this variable a in the parent scope that means in this example the parent scope for this details function will be global scope so javascript engine will search for this variable a in the global scope in the global scope also we don't have a declaration for this variable a so since javascript engine didn't find this variable a in the global scope also it will throw that a is not defined so if i save the changes you can see that it has thrown this error that a is not defined and it is at line number six where we are trying to log this variable a javascript engine didn't search for this variable a in the child scope inside this print function that's because scope chain does not work in downward direction it always works in upward direction that's what we learned in last lecture right so javascript engine will only search in the current scope or in the parent scopes it will not search for a variable in the child scope all right now let's do one more thing let's create a variable age here and let's set this age to 20 and let's write an if statement and inside this if statement let's check a condition that age is greater than equal to 18 okay and inside this if statement let's create two variables let's create a variable x let's set it to maybe 110 and let's create a variable y and this time let's create this variable using var keyword and let's set it to maybe 500 now we learned that in javascript the blocks also create a scope that means this if block will create a new scope but the block scope is only created for variables declared using let or const and not for the variable declared using var 
okay so in this example if i try to use this variable x outside of this block we will get an error okay so just to avoid this error let's uncomment these two code okay and let's try to log the value of this variable x now in the last lecture we learned that since this variable x is created using let keyword and it is declared inside this if block it cannot be accessed outside of this if block but we are trying to use this variable x outside of this if block so in this case we should get an error so if i save the changes you can see x is not defined because this x is not visible outside of this if block that's because this x has block scope it is only accessible inside the block in which it is declared on the other hand let's try to log this variable y and this variable y is created using var keyword if i save the changes you can see the value of this variable y is successfully logged even though it is declared inside this if block why is that that's because we have learned a variable created using var keyword has function scope that means a variable declared using var keyword can be accessed and used anywhere inside the function in which it is declared this variable y is declared using var keyword inside this details function so we can use this variable y anywhere inside this details function okay and one more thing if you notice here is that for this print function when we are trying to log the value of this variable a it is logging the 100 right why is that that's because when this print function will be called javascript engine will first search for this variable a in the current scope and in the current scope we have this variable a declared so that value will be used now before i wrap up this lecture i also want to mention one more thing which i forgot in last two lectures and that is we have learned that every function which we create creates a new scope and all the variables and functions declared inside that function will be present in the scope created by that function so here this details function will create a new scope and in that details function this variable a this variable age this uh, function print will be stored and it will also store the arguments passed to that function so let's say to this details function we are passing two arguments maybe c and d okay so when the scope will be created for this details function along with these variables and this function it will also store the arguments which is passed to this details function okay so in the scope of this details function along with this variable a variable age and function print it will also store this argument c and argument d similarly if to this print function we pass some variable let's say g then when a scope will be created for this print function it will not only store this variable a which is declared inside this print function it will also store this argument which is passed to this print function okay and since this print function is sitting lexically within this details function it will have access to the arguments which is passed to this details function so inside this print function let's try to log this argument c so console.log c and while calling this details function let's pass some value for this c and d so let's say hello for c and let's pass world for d okay let's save the changes and you can see hello has been logged here that means inside this print function i'm able to access this c variable why is that that is because this print function is sitting lexically within the details function so this print function will have access to the scope created by this details function and in that scope we also have this c and d arguments stored and since this print has access to the scope of this details it is able to use this c variable inside i mean c argument inside it all right so this is all about scope chain now scope chain is a very important concept in javascript so if you have any question 
related to scope chain then feel free to ask it thank you for listening have a great day